Hi children, today we are uh, discussing the new textbook uh, and the textbook you have Social and Political Life. Social and Political Life. So, uh, we can start the lesson with the, the play of football. You know what is football, is what's the rules in football. What, what are the rules in football? Uh, when we play football, no, uh, the players not allowed to take the ball with their hands, isn't it? Our kaarade kai gondu ball edu kam itla. Expect what goalkeeper, goalkeeper orige baaki arkum enda kam itla. They they not allowed to take the ball with the hands. That was the rule in the football. So like that, each place have their own what rules. Cricket have their own rules, uh, hockey, different plays and they have different rules for playing a certain game or certain play. So like this society, the, we live in a society, so these societies also have constitute rules. Rules that make it what it is and differentiate it from other kinds of society. A society end on them, much in the society girl in them, some of them are in them, are they in a different on a in the room? Chilla rules and so each society have a constitute rules to know what it is and what is the different between by from other kinds of society. So in a larger communities, in a larger society, people, uh, people were from different communities. So, these laws were based on some consensus from uh, through a formulated through a consensus these roles uh, in a large society. In a large society people were belonging to different communities. So, these rules were formulated through a consensus. Consensus means a general agreement through a general agreement. In the modern societies, the consensus were usually available in the form, in the written form. Modern society, in the modern society, we have these rules all the time. It is given available in the form of written form, in the written form. These consensus we can available in the written form is called a constitution. But now we have society rules. Every society have their own rules. These rules differentiate it from other kinds of societies. And in these societies, in modern societies, these rules were written up. These rules were written up in the modern society. These written up rules are called constitution. Constitution in, in every society there is no uh, sometimes they will not be written and uh, more it is written up in the constitution. It is constitution. In this lesson, we are going to study about Indian constitution. Before that, we want to look what are the importance or why the country need constitution. What is the need of a country a constitution? So, the first one, the constitution will define what type of country or what kind of country is it. First, the constitution define what type of country you are living. Ningle Jivikina society along country A the type on which type different type of societies and the countries and republican countries and democratic countries and monarchy and oligarchy and upon a palatilla countries and up e countries a ningle jivikina ningle uh kina ningle jivikina society along country what kind of society or country are nam our constitution is not going to be in the Republic Democratic. India is a democratic country. We are electing our representatives. So it's called a democratic country. 
next one and it also help us to know what is a government the type of government what is the type of government the nature of political system avadha the political system endana endu manasilakkan vendi nammale sahayikkunu first one it's a significant it's a knows how the what is the type of the country and second one this is a, what's the type of government we can see a example for the type of country uh, your textbook sees an example of nepal let us understand let us try and understand what we mean by this through two contrasting situations contrasting situations in the recent history of nepal nepal in the first in the later years nepal was a monarchy the king and the of the appointed ministers were the dominant power in nepal so it's a monarchy egadipada egadipatya rajyam ayirunnu nepal it's a monarchy but in later years the people demanded democracy people demanded democracy po the people endinu vendi democracy janadhipati rajyam aakkan vendi they started protest against the monarchy to form a new government new type of government that is monarchy uh, sorry democracy in the early time nepal was a monarchy and uh, people started protest to make a new country that is democratic country democratic country aka vendi avaru protest cheyidu so yeah, in the in the later the monarchy was changed to democracy nepal was uh, uh, become a democracy after this protest you can read the textbook page number 6 uh, india in on the north sorry nepal a country that border india on the north until recently nepal was a monarchy the previous constitution of nepal which had been adopted in 1990 reflected the fact that the final authority rested with the king king was the only dominant power so it's a monarchy so according to the constitution of nepal which was written in 1990 the king was the main authority a people's movement in nepal fought for several decades to establish democracy and in 2006 they finally succeeded in putting an end to the power of the king so people protested against the monarchy they demanded democratic country so finally in 2006 the nepal people win by achieving a democratic country the people had a right had to write a new constitution to establish nepal as a democracy so the old constitution that is 1990 le the monarchy le dominate the constitution appo avarku ubhayikan pattilla appo koodal neyamangal maatchendi vannu appo so they changed the dem, uh, constitution the reason that they did not want to continue with the previous constitution it because it did not reflect the ideas of country that they want nepal to be and that they have fought for adhaid nepal de palaye oru monarchical rule allayirunnu janangalukku avashyam avarku oru democracy ayirunnu vendathu so they fought for a democracy and they want and they changed the constitution and some liberty also given to the people so that was an example how they, uh, what is the type of a country adhaid monarchy aano allekil appo a constitution itself says as what the what is the type of or a kind of country is you are living next one of type of government what type of government the government means nature of political system avar the political system endayirunnu enna so we know we are a democratic country uh, what will we are, what is a democratic country in a democratic country people have the right to elect their own representatives alle nammal ellavarum the people the men or women who have 18 years and above have the right to vote namaku vote cheyanalo avakasham undu 
So, we are electing our representatives. So, for our behalf of ourselves, they are governing our, ourselves. Namale, our endinana chay, and when the Namada would do Bagamite and Yana would Namale govern chain. So, in democracy, we choose our leaders through elections. Leaders might, so when a person gets an authority, he, he became a minister. There is a chance to misuse their power. Power over the power, misuse and the chance in the democracy. In democracy, we are choosing our representatives or leaders. So there is a chance to misuse their authority. Now, our authority misuse and so many chances are the in the result was injustice. Injustice in the constitution. What is the role there? Constitution often laid down rules that guard against the misuse of authority by our political leaders. Because we have a constitution and in the constitution there is clearly written what are the rules of a, a leader and constitution of lay down the rules that guard against the misuse of the authority. That is the political leader and the authority misuse and against the rules of the constitution. So, these are the two uh, things uh, what a constitution says about our country. Why a constitution need for a country? One country ke endi naan constitution vende the. It defines what type of country is it? Whether a monarchy ano, democracy ano, alangi lo a republic ano, endi lla manslar ko. What is the type of government there? The what is the political system the Democracy ano. Angen yana ke democracy le namuk leaders misuse yana lla chance ende. Adine pretend je yana lla laws every inda there is in constitution. So, these are the two, we have only discussed the two uh, things in the uh, two points, we can discuss more points in the next class. Thank you.